Hello everybody, this is Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here, and welcome to the intro video of my new Let's Play, Star Wars The Old Republic, the Jedi Knight storyline. Now, I wanted to make this video because I felt that I didn't do a good job during part one of explaining my character's personality and in what way I'm going to be role-playing him. So I thought I'd do that here. But, there's something you need to be aware of. This video was made after I've already completed everything on the planet Tython and am about to head to Coruscant. So, things that have happened on there may be referenced. Though I'll try and keep it to a minimum. So... His name is Sogehi, as you can see, and he is a Jedi Knight. He was trained primarily in combat. And, and he's about 22 years old. He was found and brought to the Jedi Order at the age of 8, and he was an orphan on Nar Shaddaa. He is a good person overall, but one flaw he has is that he really hates the Huts. He despises the Hut cartel like no one else. Because it was thanks to a Hut on Nar Shaddaa that his best friend was killed. So he has never really forgiven them for that and does hold a grudge. And as you'll see in the Let's Play, his opinion of the Jedi Code is somewhat mixed. He's hardly a perfect Jedi. He does agree that they need to keep in control of themselves and be able to be neutral when it's called for, but he thinks that the idea of attempting to do that all the time is ludicrous. Because in his opinion, Jedi should be able to express their emotions and have fun, do what they like when they're not on duty, so to speak. Since, because he was trained as a Jedi Knight, not a consular, his skills in combat means he views himself more similar to the soldiers in the Republic than the scholars and diplomats of the Order. And the main difference between him and a lot of Jedi is his view on love. The Jedi opinion that love is bad and will lead to the dark side if they place one person of higher value than another, so to speak, is not something so he shares. He thinks that's stupid and completely ignores it most of the time. Unfortunately, one of the quests that I do on Tython requires that you act in the typical Jedi fashion for a while, so you're going to have to ignore that since it does kind of go against one of his personal beliefs. I am sorry about that, but I really could not have done anything about it. <clears throat> yes, he was trained as a Jedi from the age of 8 and is about to become a fully fledged Jedi Knight. It after his Padawan and ship, so to speak, when you begin the story. But one th other thing about him is he's a bit of a loner. And when it comes to a lot of people, he doesn't talk to them much. This will change, obviously, but he is a little bit of a loner and doesn't deal with other people a whole lot of the time. Though this does change later on. The one difference, the one exception to this, I should say, is that he is a bit of a womanizer. He's kind of a flirt, and his masters have gotten 
pretty much gotten used to the fact that their lectures about love won't get through to him because he's often been caught in kissing some random girl in a closet or something and he'll just walk off in the middle of them lecturing about how love is the path to the dark side one more thing that I should mention is his fighting style he does tend to fight more aggressive than anything and his preferred method of combat will be dual wielding which you'll see once I finally get everything up that's not part of Tython or that is part of Tython rather uh, yes that's everything about him so he, he's a good person for all though he hates the huts and doesn't agree with certain parts of the Jedi code and thinks others should only apply when they're in a situation that it could be relevant in. So, this has been the intro and my brief character description of him. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time for part one of the Let's Play. Bye!